Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. It is day two of Wand Week and today we're talking about the Noble Collection Marauder's Map Wand Collection. Now there's something unique about this collection I'm gonna share with you shortly. Now I've never looked at one of these up close so I'm excited to finally get to look at it, unbox and share it with you guys. But before we start, I want to remind you of the Wand Week giveaway. You have the chance to win this New York Store exclusive Golden Snitch Wand. You can only get this wand at the Harry Potter Store in New York City, and I am giving this one away. Now, in order to win the wand, each video during Wand Week will have a secret letter, and at the end of Wand Week, you will have collected seven total letters, and those seven letters make up a secret word. If you can figure out what that secret word is, you will be entered to win that wand. Keep your ears open for the second letter. And if you missed the first letter, check out day one of Wand Week. All right, let's take a look at this box here. I'm really excited to get this out, but we have to look at the box. So on the front, we have that white Harry Potter or Wizarding World themed packaging that we all know and recognize. There's a picture of the display itself. It says it includes four wands and display. And then on the bottom, it says Marauder's Map Wand collection. On both sides, it shows the four wands that are included, all four of the Marauders, Remus Lupin, Sirius Black, James Potter, and Peter Pettigrew. Now I mentioned something special about this collection right here. This is the only way you can collect Peter Pettigrew's wand from the Noble Collection. His wand is not sold individually, just in this set. But you can go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter and purchase Peter Pettigrew's wand, but it will be an interactive wand, meaning you can perform magic spells in various locations within the Wizarding World theme parks. But it's not a true Noble Collection collectible wand. On the back here, we have some more information about what is inside of this box. It says, recite the words, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. The Marauder's Map Wand Collection includes a richly detailed Marauder's Map display, plus authentic replica wands of the map's creators, Remus Lupin, Peter Pettigrew, Sirius Black, and James Potter. Mischief managed. All right, I am freaking out about this because I'll show you. I'll show you why I'm freaking out. I'm seeing things on here. I just need to open up the box and get this display out. All right, it says this side is where the wands are located. So let's take a look at those first. Since it is wand week, this is exciting. Here's how the wands are packaged. So let's pull out, here's Lupin's wand, James Potter's wand, Sirius Black, and Pita Pettigrew. And then when you flip it over, this is where the display is going to be stored. All right, Mr. James Potter's wand. James Potter's wand is very linear. There's no real distinction between the handle except for the fact that it's tapered at the end. So it's literally just a straight stick with carvings on it and carvings of spider webs. It almost looks as though he were the one who carved them. He was bored in one of his classes and decided, hey, you know what? I'm gonna carve a bunch of spider webs on my wand. Well, Mr. James Potter, I approve with your decision. It's very, very cool looking. You may be saying, hey, Peter, that looks similar to Cedric Diggory's wand. And that's true, it is very similar, but this is just unique and simple. A nice medium brown color and overall just a really nice size, nice looking wand. Next up is Sirius Black's wand, which is similar in shape, except that it's more squared off at the handle and more round here on the shaft of the wand. So there's definitely a distinction between the shaft portion and handle portion of Sirius Black's wand. It also looks like Sirius Black was bored. I mean, James and Sirius were two peas in a pod and were bored during a History of Magic lesson and decided, you know what, we're going to make our wands look really cool. Now, if it were a competition, Sirius Black would have won. This is an ornate looking wand. Beautiful designs that just swirl to the tip of the wand. And then the handle itself has a bunch of runes on it. And they are really deeply carved into the handle itself, which helps them to really stand out. This wand right here looks like it has tattoos on it, and in the Harry Potter films, we know that Sirius Black is covered in tattoos, and this one absolutely matches Sirius Black. It is a stunning, stunning wand, and once again, Sirius Black, you did very well in making this wand your own. 
color-wise, it's a darker brown compared to James Potter's wand. But look at the difference. I mean, there's really no comparison when you look at the carvings. And I think my favorite part of all of it is the geometric shape. I mean, it's, it's square at the handle and round at the shaft of the wand. Really, really beautiful. Remus Lupin, super simple, but super unique too. It has this big bulb at the end and then texture on the handle itself. It is very, very thin, both the handle and the shaft portion of the wand itself. I like the two tones of brown and the transition between the two parts of the wand are two carved out lines. It's a very smooth wand. It looks very put together, yet the handle is kind of worn, just like Remus Lupin. I'm sure in his earlier years, he appeared very put together and no one knew that he was actually a werewolf. One thing I can't get over is how thin it is. It's really, really thin. Like it feels like it could just snap instantly. And last but not least is the exclusive Peter Pettigrew wand. But before we look at Peter Pettigrew's wand, I have a letter to share with you. The letter for day two is D, the letter D for Dumbledore. Peter Pettigrew's wand is a snake. This is appropriate. Peter Pettigrew is a slimy snake. He slithers around and hides under rocks or things that protect him, AKA these three wizards right here or Voldemort ultimately. And he just hides in the dark. Well, this is exactly what this wand looks like to me. The handle is the snake kind of curled up and laying on itself, almost like it's hiding and just cowering in the dark. The wand itself is solid black. It's super detailed. I mean, this is a beautiful wand, but really looks like a wand that would be owned by a slimy character. The shaft of the wand is very wavy. That's the tail of the snake itself. And the handle is just so well done. Overall design, this is a very well thought out wand. It's very balanced and the handle portion complements the shaft portion very well. I'm so glad that this wasn't a wood color or any other type of color. Black really does suit this wand well. That's a cool looking wand. It's also interesting that his wand is a snake and yet in his animagus form or his animal form, he's a rat. So there's definitely some symbolism between Peter Pettigrew and his wand. All right, those are the wands. Now we get to look at the display. Already I'm seeing a really nicely made back of the display. Check this out, look at those hooks right there. Oh, it's heavy. It also comes with hardware to hang on your wall. All right, here we go. The Marauder's Map display. Oh my gosh, this is extremely impressive. Have I ever seen this? I don't think I've ever seen this in person. Wizarding World of Harry Potter sells a lot of Noble Collection things, including displays like this or collections like this one, but I have never seen this in person. At least I don't think I have. And if I have, I haven't really looked up close. Wow, it's literally etched in, oh my gosh. I'm very impressed with this and need to find a place to hang it immediately. Check out this map. Look at the folds. It looks like it's the Marauder's map hanging on your wall. From far away, it could be the Noble Collection replica of the Marauder's map. All of the words on this map, all of the designs are etched into this piece itself. There are raised portions up here, the castle itself, and the banners which feature the Marauder's names on them. So it's really a 3D piece, not just because the map is kind of opening up towards you, but the name banners, the castle, it's all just popping out of the map, really making this thing feel alive. The pegs that hold the wands are a really nice antique brass look. I am beyond impressed with this. I mean, I'll say it again, it's incredible. Here is the back of the display. It has those two hooks so that you can hang it on your wall. It has copyright information as well as the character names. There's this nice smooth black finish on the back. I can't get over the etch work on here. I mean, even in the folds themselves, this is all etched into this resin display piece. Noble Collection could have easily just printed all of this onto the display and it still would have been amazing, but they went a step further and etched everything into this stunning, stunning wand holder. Let's do the finishing touch and add the wands. So the top spot is for Rima Lupin and Peter Pettigrew fits in the second spot here it says Sirius Black so he's gonna be next and then James Potter on the bottom 
Look at that thing. I mean, that is impressive. This is something I cannot wait to display on my walls. Now I have no wall space in this room, but eventually I will be moving to another room which is larger. I'll have a lot more wall space, a lot more space for shelves, bookshelves, because all of these bookshelves are already full of books. That's coming in the future. I will, of course, share that process with you guys. But as I was saying, there's gonna be a lot more wall space to hang things like this. This is an extremely substantial piece. You get four wands. Just the overall quality of this tells us why Noble Collection is number one. So what do you think? Is this something that you would love to add to your collection? Is this something that you're like, eh, I don't really care for it? Let me know in the comments down below. If this is something that you might want to add to your collection, check the description down below. I have left a link. I will see you tomorrow for day three. Again, the letter for today was D. The next letter will be announced in tomorrow's video. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?